here now my name's Akashi and in this video we are going to be showcasing the dangerous man himself Omega Shenron now I feel like Omega Shenron is actually a big sleeper out of the anniversary units honestly I feel like he's top three units out of the new anniversary units and it's 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 not close to me like he's he's solid top three and the only two I would debate that's even better than Omega Shenron in the slightest would be Fusamasu and uh, obviously Delito Blue. But um, them two are just out of this world. But Omega Shenron can actually destroy units if you allow him to get all his buffs up and all his unique abilities. Like everything about him is amazing. Like the way his unit works, I love it a lot. But let's get into showcasing him because I don't really... I have seen like showcase people do showcase and whatnot, but I don't really see people generally boost him up the way that I feel like he deserves. Honestly, like right here, I got him on this team with the the baby buff from his main ability. Baby's there gonna buff him so that he can get more damage inflicted on top of every damage inflicted that he does already. But um, yeah, let's get into Omega Shenron because this guy's honestly a cheeser and I mess with him. Because he's a cheeser, but if I didn't have him, it might have been a different story, but yeah. But Omega Shenron's a melee type, he's red, so his problem, he's going to have a problem against Vegio Blue for sure. Uh, health, 2.1 million. I don't see a lot of units touching over 2 million, like 2.1 million, that's a lot of health. Strike attack, 208k, blast attack, 205k, so pretty much even. Strike defense, 136k, blast defense, 138k. Uh, critical 4k, that's pretty good, that's really good. And key restore 2.3k and um, he carries one of each card but both cards have like different aliments on him so the strike cards has a destroy card ice cream and driving right outside my window jesus christ uh, <laughs> um the strike card is it's a destroy card so strike cards with single arts card destroy an effect when enemy is hit and the same thing with the blast attack and his cat his tags Shadow Dragon, GT, Regeneration, Absorption, Fusion Warrior, and the new tag which is Powerful Opponent. Now let's get into his cards. So his striker just has Impact, Blast, Impact, and his special move, which is called Negative Karma Ball, cost a normal 50. No, no special move costs more than that, except I think Super Saiyan Gotenks, the purple one, but he's absolutely shocking. Shockingly bad. But, um,. What Omega Shenron's special move does, it deals massive explode damage, plus 30% to special move, uh, awakened and ultimate damage. That's a lot of um, special move in, in general. And uh, it inflicts that, it's inflicted by allies. Oh, it's, it's the special move awakened and ultimate damage inflicted by allies for 20 time accounts. So by him using his special move, it actually benefits your allies, the other two units on your team. That's actually really good. I didn't read it like that at first, so kind of caught me off guard. But let's go into his special skill. Now, this is probably the, my favorite thing about him. My top two favorite things. I don't have a favorite one, I would say, but this is top two easily. Joint first, let's say. It's called Gigantic Blaze, and what it does, uh, it costs 14. It inflicts all enemy with three substitution counts upon activation. So if you hit the enemy with it, they can't substitute for three more time accounts. Which is mad annoying, like imagine, like actually imagine like, oh, yeah, you're thinking, yeah, uh, Omega Shron runs there and you got the yellow in, alright, cool, you're going to switch out. No, you got three more time accounts now because Omega Shenron wanted to um, use his special skill on you and it landed. It also inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20% to damage received for 15 time accounts on hit, which is even more amazing because the fact that it's um, blowing you away, if you didn't know, like... Uh, I didn't hit right there, but it's a special skill like um, the yellow transforming Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the movies. Like, if you vanish step it, you'll move into its radius and then you'll get blown away. If you're in mid range or close range, you'll get hit with it. So it's mad effective to catch the opponent off guard. And you can combo every card into it, which is what's even more amazing about it. Now, let's get into his ultimate art negative karma power ball, deals massive explode damage. Plus 50% to ultimate damage inflicted for free time accounts upon activation. A portion of the damage inflicted will also be dealt to the enemy members on standby on hit. This cannot cause them to be defeated. So, 
um, I don't know who else does it. It doesn't even matter who else does it, but for example, no, for example, um, Margin Vegeta's uh, Ultimate Arts when he does the final explosion, the end, the the enemy's allies also take damage. They won't die. They can't die though. They could be health, uh, left on one health, but they won't die. But the fact that they also take damage can actually change the whole tide of the battle. It's kind of like what my teammate took so much battle, and that's mad annoying. It's mad inconvenient, especially when the game's really tight. I mess with his ultimate art so much. That's probably the, the, I'll put that second place. Besides from my joint two favorite things about him, but let's go into his abilities now. So his main ability, I promise to kill you all, kill you at all costs. It draws his ultimate arts card, the Karma Power Ball, negative Karma Power Ball next. It restores his own key by 30. You know how I feel about key on main ability. It's always amazing to get key when you activate your main ability. That's always a plus. Probably the best thing about main abilities. And it, it increases his damage inflicted for 20 time accounts by 30%. And all you need is 25 time accounts to elapse for, for the main ability to be able to be activated. But 30% more damage is amazing. And you'll see why it's even more amazing on top of everything I've already said later on when I get into his unique abilities. His Z ability, uh, at Z ability 2, I've only got him at 4 stars. If I get one more, I would get the 6 star buff. But at the moment, he only buffs uh, GT and regeneration. I'm assuming before at Z ability 1, he only buffs GT. So he can fit on a regen team nicely. And that's a good red for my regen team. I'll probably be using him on that next. But um, it's 21% 20, right now to regeneration and GT base strike attack but when you get him to Z ability 6 it's 28% strike attack and defense to GT and regeneration which is good now let's get into his unique abilities what makes him amazing so the first unique ability Apex Shadow Dragon this is the one that I favor the most and probably like I said before my joint two favorite things beside from his special skill so it increases on Dragon Balls by one when the battle starts so you're gonna start with one Dragon Ball immediately just for having him there that's a plus like it's cheesy because Rise and Rushes, you know how everyone feels about Rise and Rushes, but if you're just trying to catch these Ws, like, that's a big plus. And it also applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 30% to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts, reduces damage to receive by 20% 20 time, 20 for 15 time accounts. So you're going to be taking more damage and distributing more damage. And it also says here, this is the biggest thing of the unique ability that I like. 10% to damage inflicted per Dragon Ball you, uh, you possess. Effects reset when characters switch. So, if you see there, if you got a Rise and Rush, you're going to have um, 7 Dragon Balls, right? So if you got 7 Dragon Balls, you could be potentially doing 70% more damage just because you haven't used your Rise and Rush yet. So if you Rise and Rush, you'd still get the kill. If you probably just want to use the ultimate art, you'll probably still get the kill because you're doing 70% more damage. So, especially with his ultimate arts, like, Omega Shenron is a problem. He's actually a problem. The amount of damage that he does because of that unique ability on top of all the other ones is amazing. But let's get into his last unique ability. Shadow Dragon's pow prowess applies the following effects to enemy when this character lands a strike or blast arts hit. 20% chance to inflict strong poison, 20% to inflict heavy bleed, and 10% chance to inflict paralyze. Those chances are pretty low. But if they land, it will change the whole tide. And it also says the following effects occur if Tag GT other than this character is a battle member. 15% to inflict chance to inflict strong poison upon landing a strike or a blast arts hit. 15% chance to inflict heavy bleed upon strike landing a strike or a blast arts hit. The following effects also occur if a Tag Shadow Dragon other than this character is a battle member. 20% ch uh, chance to inflict paralyze upon landing a strike or a blast arts hit. So you can just see there that he's bugging out the whole team, the enemy team, in, in, like completely. Like there's nothing wrong with this cat guy. He's actually a big problem to face and he will actually ruin your day if you're going to be facing him. So definitely be ca careful when you're going up against him. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. Like Omega Shenron speaks for himself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, press the subscribe button. We're on this grind to 4k. Leave a comment because that's where interactions are. I mess with comments heavy. My name is Akashi, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again, but I'll see you guys in the next one.